Hi, greetings everyone. In this video, we will see how to work with the table. The table pane on the left side of many views like the one you see in the Gantt chart displays the project fields and columns. So you can see or edit the values for the tasks, resources or assignments. You can switch to the table that appears to see different sets of data. You can also adjust the width of the table pane to see more or less of the table. In the Gantt chart view, there is a table on the left pane of the window and if you want to change the table that you see on the view tab, click on the down arrow key for the tables and then choose the table and click on the table that you want. In this case, I will click on the summary and the summary table appears. The summary table is a nice overview of the information about the tasks. I am going to widen the table here. And you can see that the summary table has a duration field, start date, finish date, the percentage of the duration that's complete, the task cost and how many work hours are, in, are involved. If you want to choose a different view, click the down arrow on the table button again and click on cost. And now you can see that the fields have changed. So you can see the total cost for the task but you can also see the baseline costs. It's zero here because there is no baseline set yet. You can see variance, you can see the actual cost that's for the work and that's been done already. And the remaining cost for the task, when you click this drop down, if you don't see the table you want in this list, choose the more tables option here at the bottom. Then the more table dialog box and you can select any table that's available. I'm going to click cancel for the time being. I'm also going to narrow this back. Now there is one other way that you can select the tables. That's with a cell that's called the select all cells. It gets its name because if you click it, it's hidden here actually at the top of the task id column and the header row if you click the cell it selects all the cells in the table however if you right click the cell a shortcut menu appears with tables that you can apply to view so you can just select the table that you want i'm going to go back to the summary table here now with many tables, you actually have to scroll to see all the fields. To do that, just scroll as you normally would. Go down to the horizontal scroll bar and you can drag that towards the right. And to the left to see the fields that you want. However, if you want to see all the fields along with the task name, that's usually helpful. You can point to this vertical divider in between the two panes of the view and you can drag to the right to see the more of the tables. Then once you have seen what you need, you can always drag to the left so that you can see more of the time scale. You can change the table and a view anytime you want to see the information you need. Later on, we will talk about how to change the fields that show up in the table. I hope the concept is clear to you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.